it's Anka with video 27 and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a really tough subject, money. This is a topic that is very loaded, very emotional, yet extremely important because unless you excel with money issues, you are going to continue struggling in your practice. And I understand this because I had to deal with these issues myself. You know, practitioners come to me all the time and they tell me, how hard they've been working, doing all the things that they, they are thinking that they're doing, all the right things, but they've got literally sometimes year after year making the same low five-figure income and they want to give up. They are frustrated and a lot of the times we start digging to find out what the cause of the situation is and sometimes it is not what you might think. It's not necessarily marketing, although Certainly there are some strategies that might be missing. There are some technical things that might need adjusting or changing. There's no doubt about that. But underlying all of this, there are some issues about money. So I want to help you with this today. So I want you to help you with what I call a money clean sweep. That's all about looking at the fears you have around money, the attitude about money and your financial life and really making it a clean and positive and golden and shining so you can get mentally unstuck when it comes to money. Money often drives a lot of what we do. Some people don't admit that. They'll tell you that they don't care about money, yet they always worry about not having enough. This keeps you stuck. It keeps you stuck in a place of feeling totally powerless instead of empowered. And when you start to release issues about money, it is incredible how other things in your life start to fall into place. As I said before, this was a quite a journey for me. This was a hard, hard lesson for me. I grew up in a communist country with parents who grew up during the Second World War and they had a fear that there would never be enough and they passed it on to their children. And so I can remember my dad saying things like, you can only spend a dollar once and a penny saved is a penny earned. Wonderful sayings from back in the last century, but the truth is that they instilled in me a fear about money and it kept me stuck for a long time. And when I realized, and I started to realize this issue, admit to it, acknowledge it, and work on my inner attitudes about money, incredible st things started to happen. So what are some of the issues around money that you need to think about? I call them your money monsters. And there are the unspoken attitudes and beliefs and the ways of thinking that are keeping you stuck when it comes to money. And you see, I'm doing a longer video just on this because it is so important. So what are some of the examples that I'm talking about? Well, I've seen my clients who are buried in debt I've seen others who haven't filed their taxes for years. I've had clients who aren't keeping their books in their business. I've had clients who come to me and I ask them, what is your profit margin? And in other words, what is their income, um, their sales versus their expenses and what's left over? Very simple formula, yet they have no idea. I've asked people how much they pay themselves out of their business and they say little or nothing. I've had people who have come to me to have worked and worked and worked and literally are just breaking even. They're just paying their business bills, but not moving ahead. I've also had people come to me and I have to say, ladies, this is mostly women who are uncomfortable with the idea of making more than their spouse and making more their siblings or their family mem members. So they shrink, they keep themselves small. They actually, in some ways, don't do the things that are moving them forward because they're afraid of not pleasing those around them and they're afraid of losing the support of those people that they love in their lives. And this is not really standing in your authenticity and being who you're really meant to be. Until that next time, go use the stuff. Bye for now.